Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study the minutes and how the hours and minutes work on the clock. And I have here a very special clock as you can see because it has lots of numbers. It has the normal set of numbers for the hour hand from 1 to 12. And then it has another set of numbers over here and these are for the minute hand. You see in normal clocks these numbers for the minute hand are not shown. You have to know them. And they go from 0 all the way up to 60. And so, and so for each number on the R hand, we are going to count by fives for the numbers for the minute hand. Let me show you how it works. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 15, 55 and 60. Those are for the minute hand. And now let's see how it works on a real clock. Let's now study reading the clock with the minute hand and the hour hand. And in this special clock you see two sets of numbers. The normal numbers from 1 to 12 are for the hour hand. And then I put a set of stickers on the outer rim of this clock. And those are the numbers for the minute hand. And they run from this 0, 60, 5, 10, 15 and so on up to 60. Okay? And uh, this here now shows 2 o'clock. It means 2 hours and 0 minutes. And now let me move the minute hand over here. This is now 2 hours and 5 minutes. People often say 2 or 5. Okay. Over here this would be 2 hours and 10 minutes. Okay. So notice that the minute hand, we read the number here, the 10 minutes. And notice also that between 5 and 10 minutes of course are the minutes for the 6, 7, 8, 9 minutes, okay? Even though they are not marked with numbers or anything. They are marked with little lines there on the clock face though. And then of course minute hand goes on and here it would be at 15 minutes. 2 hours and 15 minutes or 2.15. And so on. We are at 2.20 and 2.25. Over here 2.30 which is also half past 2 as you know and 235, 240, 245. Notice the hour hand now. It is getting very close to 3. So some children get mistaken and think that this is 345. But it is not yet. It is still just 2 hours and 45 minutes. Because the minute hand needs to go all the way up here, finish its full round until it is actually 3 o'clock or 3 hours. Now let's do some few exercises here. What time is it now? Can you tell? Okay, look at the hour hand. It's between 12 and 1. That means 12 hours. And the minute hand is pointing to 25. Not 5, but 25. The time is 12.25. And what time is it now? The hour hand over there points to 10 or a little bit past it. It's 10 hours and minutes are 15. So 10, 15. And one more. This one. What time is it? The minute hand is clearly pointing to 40 minutes. But what about the hour hand? It's between 9 and 10, but it's not yet 10, so we say 9 hours and 40 minutes or 9.40. Okay, let's do a few exercises here on the board too. What time is it here? Okay, we need to check where is the hour hand. Which one is the hour hand? It's this shorter one. And it is 6. Okay, so we write 6. And then two dots like that. A colon. And then the minutes. The minute hand points to 10. So we put 10. 6 hours, 10 minutes. Or we just read it 6, 10. Over here. Find the hour hand first, this one, and it is 8, 8 hours. And the minutes over there, 20 minutes. And here, what time is it? Can you tell Matthew? Well, Matthew says it's lunch time. <laughs> Always good appetite, okay. Well, let's check the time on the clock, Matthew. Um, the hour hand, this one, 11. And the minute hand, can you tell? 15, yes. And yeah, I think it is lunchtime. 
over here, our hand points over there between 12 and 1. But you still need to write it as 12 hours, OK? And minute hand over here, 25. And now comes the challenge, a clock that does not have all those numbers for the minute hand written out. So can you tell what time it is? The hour hand over here, it is past 4 o'clock, so we need to write 4 hours. It's not yet 5. And the minute hand points straight down. So what number would be here? OK, right now you can just check over here that it would be 30 minutes. But you do need to learn by heart what numbers go here on the outer rim, so to speak, for the minute hand. So let's try it again over here. Try not to look at these clocks that have those numbers, but try to figure out what time it is. The hour hand is easy. It's 10 something, 10 hours. And then the minute hand. What do we have here for the minute hand? Remember to count by fives. Zero, five. So it is five minutes. However, we do not write it like this. We put an extra zero here so that we will always have two digits here. So 10, zero, 5, or 10, oh, 5. How about this one? First, the hour hand. OK, it is between 3 and 4, so it is 3 hours. And then the minutes. You need to basically count by fives all the way from here, 0, 5, and so on. But if you happen to remember that there's 30 right here, the half hour point, is 30 minutes, then it's easy to go 30 and 5 more, 35. And then this one is more challenging yet, because it doesn't have the numbers even for the hour hand. And that's pretty normal too, because there's lots of clocks that don't have any numbers. You just need to know them. The hour hand is the shorter one here. And of course, here we would have 1 and 2 and 3, OK? So it's pointing between 1 and 2. It's 1 hour something, OK? And the minute hand, now we count by fives, starting here. 5, 10, 15, 20. And now here, in the bottom row of this table, we're going to figure out the times five minutes later than these times. Five minutes later than what the clock shows. And the hour is not going to change. But of course, if you have five minutes here and five more, five plus five is 10, right? Three, 35, and five minutes later, you can simply add 35 and five more, right? So we will get three hours and 40. On the clock face, the minute hand would have moved pointing here to eight, OK? And over here, five minutes later, 120 becomes 1 and 25. Okay, I hope this was helpful and uh, we're all done with this lesson.